Hello. After this announcement, uh, I wanted to take some time to appreciate things that aren't going to cost me hundreds of dollars uh, over here on this channel. And so one of them is the uh, Super Mario RPG remake uh, that is coming in like a little over a week now, I think. It's like 10 days, 11 days, something like that. I'm really excited. Super Mario RPG is probably the defining game of my childhood. Uh, next to maybe Final Fantasy VII. But beyond that, uh, Super Mario RPG, I, I wasn't allowed to play RPGs. Because uh, my parents thought that they were the devil's work. True story. <laughs> so, uh, because this was a Mario game, though, it was okay. Because they didn't know any better. Uh, but they heard role-playing game, and it was like, oh, ew. Demons. Uh, <laughs> so this was my gateway drug, basically, uh, into what ended up being my love of tactical RPG games and things like that. So, uh, I wanted to see, I think there's a trailer, and then we got some gameplay footage, so I kind of wanted to watch that. And it only released on the Japan YouTube for Nintendo, which is kind of crazy. Mallow, dude. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, there's so much nostalgia. I don't know what this try attack thing is. But like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of into it. Okay, we had that, and then we had this guy over, over here. Uh, this looks like gameplay footage. So I'm just gonna reminisce a bit. Oh Dude, I remember this is a chandelier fight. Aim for the chain. Iconic. I think uh this is this is the origin of Peach's frying pan too. Which she has in uh, Smash Bros. I always thought there was like some weird Donkey Kong lore there with that particular Chained Kong enemy. I don't know if there actually ever was. Oh, so good. Dude, it's so good. It's my understanding that I think they're keeping the Nintendo uh cameos in too Mallow. I love Mallow. Gino. I remember growing up I called him Geno. Because <laughs> I I didn't You guys think it's like a recent thing with my inability to get names correct? I've been doing it since I was a wee lad. <laughs> this was before the origin of me just calling stuff Dave that I couldn't pronounce correctly. But, oh my god, dude. Oh, it's so good. I'm kind of excited to go back and, like, I played it when it came out on Nintendo Switch Online. Um, but even that has been a couple years. I normally try and revisit it. Before it came out on NSO, I also have the, um, the mini consoles, which it's on the, the SNES version of that, too. Uh, which I play. So I, I have probably played this game a handful of times over the last 10 years or so. Five years, six years, seven years. Oh my god. Dude, it's so iconic. They're making the time attacks easier though. And then there's a there's a gate. You can't see it because my camera is taking up the spot, but there's a gauge that's filling up at the bottom. Now, I think the most optimized party is probably Mario, Gino, Peach. My two cents. But I think Mario, Peach, Bowser is also a really good lineup. I, I kind of want to play it through first with, like, the old soundtrack. I'm so excited about that. 
have no idea what these are saying. Oh, the Hammer Bro fight, dude. And then randomly finding Birdo, that was hype. Dude, I had nightmares about that, that sewers boss. Dude, the ghost ship level was so scary back in the day. Oh my god, dude. It looks really good, though. Yeah, what's that? Are they gonna show us? Dude, no shot. They didn't show us. Okay, so that. Hold on, I have to. I have to. Oh God, I have to talk about it first, really quickly. That right there. This is significant. Uh, this door. So I mentioned before there are Nintendo cameos in the game. Uh, which isn't really a spoiler. They just kind of pop up randomly. Um, sometimes you don't even see the individual. Uh, sometimes you do. Sometimes it's just like items or something that are a reference. But here, behind this door, is uh, something that is not necessarily Nintendo IP related. So, without... Spoiling anything. Um, there was a lot of. We'll say conjecture. Uh, as to whether or not. They were going to. Put this in the game. <laughs> I personally wasn't sure if Nintendo would get the clearance to do it. Uh, but this was probably. One of, if not the coolest reveals that Super Mario RPG has. So I'm not going to talk about it specifically. Um, but I remember in the Nintendo Direct uh, that they showcased this door. And there's there's an item called, I think it's called the Shiny Stone, that reacted to it. And like that was just the text. That's the text that you're seeing down there. Um, and it, it said that the Shiny Stone reacted. Uh, and it basically opens the door. You go through this whole uh, side quest thing to get the shiny stone that you can then use on this door to open it and reveal something. Um, but here, they are straight up showing you uh, that it works and you can go in it. Which is pretty sick. Monster Town's dope. We love Monster Town. All my homies love Monster Town. Oh, that was so tight, too. The cookies. Oh, the cart. Oh, God. Dude, the Beetle minigames. I forgot about those. Oh, my God. Dude, the original is so iconic, though. SFC, I think, stands for Super Famicom, by the way. Oh my god. It's crazy that Mallow thought he was a tadpole. <laughs> I'm just going back and thinking about that in hindsight. That is such a wild thing to believe. Even as an adopted kid. you got to be more self-aware than that. Oh, that was so nice. That was a nice little trip down Nostalgia Lane. Um, and I liked that a lot. Uh, did it say when it was coming out? The 17th, yeah. So we're like a week and a half-ish away. A little bit less. Oh, God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm probably going to play this on stream. And it's probably going to be one of those the stream ends when I beat it situations. Which might only be like a day. <laughs> uh, but I'm still... So, oh, God, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped for this game. I'm so excited. Um... If this does not pertain to any of your interests, that's totally fine. Um, but this is a selfish Brian content thing <laughs> that I wanted to, to look at and talk about. So uh, if you enjoyed that, thanks for coming down this nostalgia trip with me. Um, I will be playing this. I will likely be streaming it. And uh, I hope that if I do, that I'll see you there.
because it's really pog and super cool. Um, anyway, that's it for me. I was hoping we get a special edition, but I don't think we did. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, I'll I will see you in the next one. Have a have a great day.